with part two on What Difference Does It Make of our album cover special. Yes, I am Dave. I'm Holly. This is What Difference Does It Make, our podcast, and we're going to continue our discussion with Nick Longo. Holly, why don't you uh, give us uh, one or two All right. that you Well, you I'm going to give you two, but we could probably tie these, could probably more in whole episodes, just these two. Okay, and, um, and Nick will tell you why you love it. No, because I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing ones I love. I'm doing my, well, you, okay. I saw one of yours, and I and we have we both have it. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm really excited. I, I, I think I, I, I think I saw it too. <laughs> I'm doing these. At, I'm doing these because I think they're they're <laughs> they're brilliant. First of all, I want to say about this. I, I think cover art is comparable to the music in that there's just something. You, sometimes you just can't put a finger on it. It evokes it, an emotion totally, um, and you can't even say why you love it or what draws you to it. Mm-hmm. And we, we did. We talked about that. But so I feel I actually, because I say this a lot about the music and some of the music when I just say, well, I just like it, you know. You nailed it though. You said it evokes an emotional connection. That's, ex- that's the goal. Yeah. Like do you, like I, that's the one thing I miss mostly about having physical albums is like, I remember cause yes. even having an older brother, he had bands that I wasn't known into yet or didn't know too much about. And you got a story behind them by opening that up and reading. Yeah. So that yeah. part's missing. So when I when when I first met my RE when I say my RE that is my resident expert mm-hmm. my husband he's a huge Rush fan yeah so when we first started dating a hundred years ago thirty years ago um, <laughs> he would make I would have to look at all that and I was a fan when you say you're a fan of Rush it means you had missing uh, sorry um, moving, moving pictures and permanent waves mm-hmm. and that was the extent pretty much of you being a Rush fan I thought. He had me listen to a lot of the music, and I had to read the lyrics. You had to open the the album, and you could read, the, you know, open. read the lyrics as you're listening to the music. So anyway, so that leads into my first. I guess my first two covers. I'm doing. I actually, this is not my. I'm, I tried to think which one I would talk about first. I actually like um, moving pictures. Mm-hmm. I couldn't agree more. It it shows kind of a sense of humor of the band. Yeah. You know, it's it's literal, yeah. and yet it's uh, you know could be could mean a lot more. Yeah, but there's but the all the the different meanings of each of three different scenes mm-hmm. that are moving pictures. The woman is crying because the pictures that she's looking at are moving her. They're actually being moved. They're actually yeah, being moved. They're, that's, they're, that's what I like. The, the, the pictures like, are being moved. That's what the guy sees first. Yeah, I know yeah. exactly. Oh, <laughs> what, funny. What, what emotion? Yes. <laughs> well, that is that is actually what I said. What I had first I in my that. notes there, physically moving the pictures. See, you're and telling then, me things I didn't see. In this one. Oh, that's I get cool. this from my art again. If I don't notice that this is yeah. you know sting. <laughs> Stuart and Andy on the front of Ghost in the Machine, then how could I have picked this up by myself? Yeah. And actually, I found out the, he showed me last night, the inner sleeve of this, of moving pictures is actually moving pictures of the, so the band, I don't know if you, if either of you can picture it, but they're the three band members and their pictures are kind of superimposed. It's like they're moving in the picture, in the photograph. Oh, Each of them is moving. Yes. There's like a super, superimposed like a images of themselves. Yeah. It's kind of blurry. Okay. Yeah. You know, Hugh Syme. He's the one who designed all their – he did the artwork for all their records. Mm. I did learn something. After my RE gave me his information on the on this album cover, I went and looked up my own information. I didn't – I never really looked closely at the pictures that they're <laughs> – it's Joan of Arc is on the left, which I never really – I saw the cross, but I never really you know put that together. And Dogs Playing Poker is in the middle, CM Coolidge, which I did not know. And then there's, of course, the Starman is the third – that's, the wow. that's the Rush logo. Yeah. And then, yeah, of course, dogs playing poker. Mm-hmm. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's, I mean, that's why I it's picked moving. up on. It's, it's very moving. It's they're very, very funny. If they're very funny. Right. Exactly. Well, yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. There, yeah. there was some, there was a lot of thought put into this album. I mean, that yeah. was one where you would look at the cover and try and absorb all the, everything that's coming, mm-hmm. coming at you. Like I, you know, I didn't know any, this was my introduction to, to the band. Was that the same with you, Nick? Same. Was, yeah. I think I remember confession my brother bought me a t-shirt because he went to the concert and i wore it as if i went <laughs> to be cool because you thought you were cool yeah but i'll never forget i think it was this one and maybe a journey t-shirt that every time my mom washed it part of the graphics oh. faded away and i was like don't wash it anymore i can't wear this turn it inside out <laughs> exactly. but now now that's that's the look oh, no, distressed yeah, yeah yes, distressed. exactly mm-hmm. But mom was ahead of her time. Exactly. But that <laughs> yeah. was that to me was one of the best. And then your second one you mentioned too. Permanent Waves. Permanent Waves to me was that's in one of my collections because I, I think that one, I was a big fan of any album art that was like a complete storybook in one image. Yeah. And like you're like, what's going on here? Like it's like a capture of somebody in the middle of some event. Like it's so, and it's so freaking beautiful. Like it's one of the best album covers <laughs> I love. 
you're much more thoughtful than I am because again, back in the day when I had this record, I really didn't. Pay, I mean, I thought it's it's a nice looking cover, but I didn't get the significance of everything that was in it. I'm almost, but I think you're right. I'm almost appreciating it more now. Looking when I looked at it and found it into some of the stuff I was going to use for today, I saw saw it more like that now. Mm-hmm. I don't didn't oh. think about it back in the day. Okay, I feel better now. It just looked awesome. It was just <laughs> yeah. cool. But now we can dig into it. Yes, you know. The newspaper on here, so it has a few different images on the on the cover. The newspaper is the Dewey defeats Truman. Oh, it had to be right? yeah, it had wow. to be removed. I guess when it when it went oh, to for so, trademark so yeah. reasons? no because or it, controversy. Well, because <laughs> yeah. Dewey didn't defeat Truman. Ultimately, this right. paper was printed. You know, right? The story no, I know the story, but this. yeah, but I guess the record, the label, oh my insisted that it that that, that pa- had to be removed. Why? And do we know why? I mean, that's, uh, that is history, right yeah. there. I mean, so it's, yeah, it's funny. It is history, even though it, it's not. It's historical, right, but it's a, not the that, actual history. That's, that's so bizarre that they had to take it off. But isn't it it's one of those ones that you look at now, and I, I, I just think it is. It was a one. It was ahead of its time. It wasn't. It didn't have anything cliche '80s on it. It was right. very unbalanced. You know what I mean? It wasn't centered. It was like this unique thing. She's in the foreground. There's all this funky stuff going on behind it you almost it's like um it's not part of the 80s but like the green day uh, dookie mm-hmm. uh it, i know people who have like analyzed every single sketch yes. and doodle on that thing because it's so <laughs> full of stuff and this yes. is the same idea there's like what you want to dig a little deeper and look like what's going on behind her which i didn't at the time but now yeah. i had my re point this out to me <laughs> so perm it's called permanent waves yep. it's from 1980 by the way so her hair isn't a perm so those are there permanent waves um there is a man waving Wow. Oh, See? more literal yeah. description. And um got some ocean waves? <laughs> there are, I don't think there are any ocean waves on this. Let me see. No. But there's also, I guess somewhere on here, the picture of somebody waving. Oh, the man waving is a permanent wave. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. It's just it's very it's clever. Mm-hmm. It's very clever and I didn't, you know, and they they are clever and they're very smart, a little too intellectual for my, you know, visual. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah. I have a lot. You here. do, and, and I, I see some of ones. the ones I took off my. I, I, I know. I mean, oh. there's so many. Ooh. Right. I yeah. Mean, as I look, I mean, all right. I mean, I'll just go through oh, them quickly. Look. Pick your favorite, or should we? Should we just pick there a card? Go. Any card? I, let's do. <laughs> let's do faces, because for some reason, faces helped me out, or, or they they evoked something. I'll do faces and butts. <laughs> well, here's, here's faces. 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 <laughs> I mean, all of these that we way to be organized. I know, but what, all of them that we've been talking about, they're the the band is not on the cover, right? True. I mean, you know, it's colors or synchronicity maybe, was in there, but like, um, they're, they're yeah. Like you don't really know images. who the yeah. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't be able to recognize the band by the, the front. by the front, and usually that's kind of I mean that's like the safe pick. Like let's just let's put the band on. Yep. Let's show them who the band is. This is the band in action. They're yeah. you know, you know what's going on. These ones have uh, have the band somehow in the way they're dressed or presented. It was in, super intriguing to me, and the music could be good. I don't know. A lot of this I did not know. You took a risk. I took a risk. Some of it I did as I pull up Bruce Springsteen, born in the USA, on his butt. I mean, that's his butt, so everyone knew it was his butt. Um, and the ones with the face, the band's ones, are Pretender's debut, Freedom of Choice by Devo. Mm-hmm. There's uh, the Talking Heads. There's David Bowie. And um, there's one U2 War with not with, which it's didn't not have the band, face. but it, yeah, it's not the the band's face at all. It's no mm-hmm. one, but it's somehow it evokes the band. When you open up the mm-hmm. uh, the gatefold, there's the band in there in the winter scene. Probably one of the most iconic like pictures of U2 as well. Yeah, what was on the inside. It that yeah. could have been an album cover, and yet they put it on the inside, and that's what I love about it. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, this that, totally that, could have been. A that's band. probably the most used picture of them as a group. Well, Joshua Tree, of course. True. But this which looks, is one of mine. which yeah. just reminds me. I mean, you look at this and it's kind of like a Joshua Tree type yeah. mm-hmm. type scene. I mean, mm-hmm. there except it's in winter time instead of the summer or, you know, like in desolate uh they're in, when you de- think of they're war, in the desert. You think of winter. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, with uh, Joshua Tree, they're in the desert and you know, it's desolate and mm-hmm. but this is also a desolate scene. The, the the front cover is a boy, he's got, you know, like a sore on his lip. He looks he does not look extremely well yeah um you know he's not happy he's not smiling there's something serious going on there and uh hence the title of the album <laughs> yeah you see right you see you two war and you see this face and it kind of conveys uh, you know this is this is a band to be taken seriously mm-hmm. 
Um, and we did. And we did, yeah. <laughs> and then the ones with the faces are kind of intriguing in that just because it's all different. Like there's uh, David Bowie's uh, Let's Dance. And it's I, I love the graphics of it. It's yes. just kind of like these dance steps. Yeah. And um, and Bowie's in this fighter pose. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was kind of like a comeback. I mean, he would say, don't call this a comeback. I've been here shift. for years. It was kind of a shift in his, it was in his, his style. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was a pivot. But yeah, so it was a new Bowie, a new look. the MTV Bowie, yes, basically. For sure. Know, right? yeah. Yeah. That yes, was yes, Les Dance. That was China Girl. Yeah, and I I love the, the oh, graphic of this. Same yeah. thing with your with your Rush shirt. Mm-hmm. You liked I. This was the first concert I saw with with just friends with no yeah. parents. Yeah, and I bought this Bowie shirt and I love this the logo, the Bowie logo. I had a it was like a sleeveless. Uh, it's got a, like tank. so much. It's got so much going on to it, and it's like you wouldn't expect those graphics to go with that photo. Like you yeah. know what I mean? And yet everything is an opposite, and it's kind of working well. That's why I thought that's really funny because this you can see I have a Bowie on my uh, one of my choices also, but I had I had also chosen less stance at first. It's funny. I don't see this as a face, even though I know he's on the cover. And even if I wasn't looking at it, I know he's on the cover. But I think of it more with these graphics. Oh, the, the yep. dance yeah, steps? Yeah, that's, yeah. But that's a memory burn. That's yeah. the thing that you associate to that album more than yes. this picture. Yeah. And, yeah. And everyone can have a different relationship with these with the yeah. images. You know one thing's going to probably be more memorable to you as opposed to somebody else. Yeah. That's what's really cool. So You're the right. more you have, like, I love that. I almost thought that was more scientific and it looked very kind of chemistry. Yes. Right? I agree. And yet looking at it, you're like, oh, it's dance steps and it spells out let's dance. So I wonder what it says Creative. about you and me when I, I eliminated one of the Bowies from my, you know, album cover list. Yeah. Just to try to be more concise, not to make this episode go oh. on for days. But I picked uh, Scary Monsters and uh, Super, Cre- Super Creeps. But what does it say, you know? It just this was me the album. being drawn to this album cover, or maybe it was the album itself. I don't know. Yeah, that was the album before this. Yeah, yeah. This so is that, 1980. Yeah, just me. M- more of an <laughs> more of an arty type uh, album. Yeah. Than than this mainstream record, which you know exploded again uh, in this in this one. Yeah. I mean, he he made so many memorable album covers. Besides the music, he's also uh, a visual he is artist. An, he's an, and he's a visual icon. Yeah. Also. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I just I love that cover. I got a face one for really? you. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So, yeah. So, okay. Oh, so you, yeah. so you put up Queen's Hot Space, yeah. and I put up uh, Talking Heads, oh my Remain God, very, in Light. Very familiar. Uh, very similar. Kind of right? like the Beatles. Also, yep. you know, we're just four faces. Yep. Um, Remain in Light is kind of uh, intriguing to me, in, in that they read it out their face. You can't see their faces, but you you know you still know you still know it's them. And the logo is just you know, I don't know why is the A upside down. Because um, you're talking about it, <laughs> I, right, yeah. could be. Yeah, it, it's yeah. a it's a natural way to draw attention and do something. And I think they're a great example of bands that could take huge risks on their album cover, like they did here, because they weren't. They never really seemed too like interested in being so popular or so top forty, right? They mm-hmm. they always stayed very very in their zone. And I I love bands that took chances like this. Like who else would have done that? They were artists. I mean, they like, were genuinely artists. I'm not- sure every other band with an ego would have been like, you want to completely bla- you know, right. red out our faces? <laughs> yeah, you I'm know? sure the label wasn't happy with this, too. This is what you want to do? Yeah. You know, this so, is our break. This is the one. You know, yeah. and, and uh, you wonder, Once in a lifetime on this. That, this is going to be your hit. <laughs> that could tell you, too, that that's, that was the band having a little more kind of say than maybe the label at the time, you know, mm. which is kind of cool. I don't think that happens nowadays. I think you're right. This is really, I don't remember seeing the back of this album. That's Me really either. cool. Four, di- four different planes. Yeah, in the same red as mm-hmm. the, as their faces are covered in. I think one's a helicopter, actually. The last one? Yeah, we'll post this. This is really cool. cool. Does this seem like a good time to take a break? This is a perfect time to take a break. Let's do that right now. Welcome back to What Difference Does It Make? But yeah, so you mentioned Queen. I mean, one of my favorites of Queen <laughs> yeah. is uh, is News of the World, oh, where, yeah. the, where they're dead and a God. robot is clutching them. I mm-hmm. was, ups- you know, as a 12-year-old, oh, I was obsessed was, with, like, yeah. watching, like, what's, what is this? What does it mean? And, like, seeing things drawing from the hands. Yes. Like, yeah. You're like, and wasn't there a hole in the... 
something, something huh? like the heart had been broken through or something. I can't remember, but <laughs> that was a, I. I thought you guys were one of you would pick that one. Yeah, and no, when, I, I, when I was looking I, at, the I had ones a feeling that, you would pick Queen, so I was so waiting much. for you. To yeah, <laughs> and there's so many. You again. Right. Let's. How are we? How can you possibly cover all, everything that's going to be good in one episode of this? Correct. Stuff? There's a lot that you're going to miss, but like to me, I thought this was interesting. And when I saw it, I remembered my brother getting it as well and going like, "What is that?" Like, and this was different for him. This is when they did an experimental thing and tried something totally different with their music. So yeah. it reflected in their album cover as well. They couldn't do the typical. Mm-hmm. Not that anything they did was typical, but it was much more. You know, um, like Night at the Opera and all those other ones, right? And even News of the World. Yes. Um, but this one was just this quad thing with colors and a very high contrast, one color version of what their faces could look like, mm-hmm. you know? It's modern. Yeah. It's, yeah, it has that kind of yeah. like Annie Warhol kind of vibe, yes. yeah. you know, for sure. But I love that when bands take a risk, I think that Talking Heads ones is an per- even yeah. better example of going like, what the hell? Let's just try it. It works. The Can original. We- can we just say something about this okay. Pretenders album as you oh, guys yeah. were talking okay. about faces? Yeah, so go ahead. The, um, one of my favorites, the yeah. Pretenders debut. There's something about uh, about seeing the band. I mean, that's, you know, the Queen album. That's one thing that's that has, an, you know, an artistic factor mm-hmm. to it. And same with the Talking Heads, Remain in Light. But there are albums, and it's funny because my Ari commented to me on this when he saw my choices. I showed him my choices, and I actually eliminated a lot. Uh, he said, oh, you picked a lot with, with – um, just the artist photos. And I thought I, I it made me think about, you know, why, what it is. And I couldn't remember specifically with this Pretenders album if it, if I had heard the music first mm-hmm. and then wanted so badly to see, you know, I was or was so happy to see what they look like, you yeah. know, because she's so cool, Chrissy Hind. Um, or if I saw the album before I heard the music and it made me want to think, oh, they so, they're so cool. I want to listen to the music. And I cannot remember. Um but I just – I really think it's interesting. Some people think it's, you know, less interesting and artistic just to see a, a photo of the band on a cover. Just like when you're seeing – when videos first started on MTV, mm-hmm. there were stories, you know, yeah. like Aha. Uh-huh, or um, And then there were bands that just played. And I was – I always struggled because I, I always wanted to see the bands play, mm-hmm. you know, cause you, which you didn't really get to see unless you were seeing them live in concert. Or you want to see a story because that's new and cool and you don't really get to see that much on TV. So I don't know. I And, you know, it's funny. It's also a mood. You know, it's also depends on your mood. Yes. And I'm kind of going off on a tangent here. But um, when I had chosen, when I had first chosen my albums for this list, I was going more for the graphic, the graphic design. So I had, I mm-hmm. looked at Elvis Costello, Imperial Bedroom and the Tom Tom Club mm-hmm. um, and this, you know, Rio, which is a Patrick oh, yeah. Nagel thing. Um, so it also kind of depends on your mood. But I really love seeing just the photograph of the band. But it's also the, char- the charisma of a band like the Pretenders can do that and do a video like that and still be interesting. It doesn't need the storyline of like, like you, I think you brought up a great one, like, aha, yeah. right, take on me. So no one knows their charisma. Like, you know what I mean? I don't right. think they, they're right. not like these guys. And I think like Blondie was another great example. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. You know, bands like that, like she was a very Mick Jaggerish kind of performer. Yeah. And I think – you're okay with them doing that because you know it's going to be something worth seeing in a performance. Whereas some bands have to, I think, default to like the story. The story, yeah. Because they're not the most charismatic sure. performers. Yeah, I, I, okay. I also love this in that you can see yeah, their personalities. Right. And this picture is great because you can tell their personalities from this photo. Yes. Yeah. You could see, you know, you know, Chrissy's kind of the, the cool one. Yeah. And James with his glass is kind of like a, a kind of a, you know, like kind yeah, of, yeah, funny, I'm, too, I'm too cool to be here. Or just, or just a funny man. Like, Hey, check me out. It, I, it seems kind of tongue in cheek. You know, James Farden is the, the cool one with yeah. the leather jacket and, you know, Martin's got his, his tie suit and yeah. tie. He's kind of a sophisticated guy. Um, I love that. And then I love in the back, there's, there's Chrissy just yeah. like, they didn't like, Chrissy, even Probably though she was the outtake. star, yeah, she was the star, but she's like, oh, let me just fix, uh, mm-hmm. fix his boot right here. We don't even see her face. Yeah. We're going to use this and we're just, and again, personalities. Um, and that that makes it effective too. I but think. see, you you've described so much about that album, yet all it is is two photos and some type. Yeah, oh, yeah, I know. But, but you was, look at that, like, oh, I, what and, are these and, guys about? And they owned that font. Like when you see that font in any other mm. writing, you're like, that's the Pretenders font. That's a Pretenders. Font. <laughs> and and I love it when non designers catch that. They'll be like, that's the font that's on that uh, album. Um, you know, and you're like, oh my god, yeah, you yeah, you, you recognized it, and it was really. Like Art Nouveau, very yeah. Art Deco, but also 
kind of futuristic and cool. So yeah, they 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 own that. All right. Well, that's cool. going to lead us into our next episode where we talk about logos, mm-hmm. and what's what's effective, what mm-hmm. works, what's our favorites. Um, I know I hate to to wrap this up, but uh, there's too much. We kind of have to. I know we didn't talk about Devo. We didn't talk about. Springsteen's butt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, can- I love this one. All right, you got one more. I, I know just, you love because we the, both. I, I'm put thinking. This in. I'm thinking of the Cure because you kept mentioning oh. standing uh, standing on a beach as your face because you had that like on your in your bedroom. That was the best Evan. It scared me. The old man's face, yes. which I didn't even pick for this. I can't believe you didn't pick that one because that was one that you know the ones that are up on your wall. That was like an art, yeah. piece of artwork that I was know. in your room. Maybe because it scared me, but I, I <laughs> no, because I picked Head on the Door and, Dis- and Disintegration, the album covers, because they were more uh, know, ethereal or, you know, just, I don't know. Also, I have to say, I'm putting the disclaimer on this. I'm not sure. And this, these are not even the ones I want to talk about. But <laughs> well, I'm going to talk about one more time. because I want to comment. <laughs> I know, I know, but there's too much. I'm sorry. I hardly let you talk we, at all. We got to bring Nick back. <laughs> okay. But the, the cure, it's funny. When you're thinking about this, you think about the... The music you love, again, the music you love, and then do you love the artwork because you had loved the music so much, or did the artwork draw you in? And with The Cure, I just happened to pick two of my favorite albums, and Staring at the Sea was the best of, so that's obviously one of my favorites because it has, but it has, you know, all my favorite songs. But it's but, Cindy Lauper, and just going back to the faces from She's So Unusual. Yes. When you look at the album cover, you really get a sense for her. Even if you hadn't heard Girls Just Want to Have Fun, you could tell. Oh, what the music I was to- going to be I, like. I totally agree. I, I had had it in here too. You had taped it too. Because yeah. I, oh, I can't yeah. get over here here it is. how that could be out today. I think it, one, it stands the test of time. But what was interesting you brought up too is I'm assuming this was probably shot and printed long before she even did the video. Yeah. And yet it replicates the whole personality of that video that introduced her to the world. If you liked her or not, you could not uh, not know her. Yeah. Like in that album cover, it looks like it's moving. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It looks like, you know, it's so. I love it. And it's like, it's gritty. God knows where they picked the spot for it. I love the, no. why is there an umbrella on the ground? Like, it, I love it. It's really cool. Yeah. The and type she sucks, just... but no. I'm just kidding. Oh, there we go. That's okay. funny. There's always something. No, it's good. I'm, I'm glad you picked that out. I kind of agree. You know, I, I wouldn't have been the first thing I said, It almost doesn't said, even need right. anything. Right. It, you just have the photo. Right. And well, it, that's one of those things. Right. You would just look at, you wouldn't take know. Take the type off. Yeah. All you, all you have to do is see mm-hmm. she's so unusual. You don't need to know. I mean, you know. You yeah. know it's in I think every, it's I'd love to know more about like everything behind the launch of her career because like love her or hate her like what an impact she made she was so talented and then just whoever came up with that even that oh even the back's awesome um <laughs> the, is that a dolly that's a monet Sal- i believe or is it or is it, or is it Salvador or is it, Salvador, it, is it dolly like it. it's the mon- it's it looks like the um no it's oh, the van, uh, no, van gogh no the van gogh it, it could be van gogh yeah i think wow it, didn't you, yeah. Somebody's going to correct us. I know. Us. We're going to sure. okay. On the Sorry. bottom of her yeah. shoes is some correct artwork. Us. What Let's was see. it? But yeah, like even the name of the uh, she's so unusual. Could you have found a better title to launch that girl's career? Uh, I mean, who else was like she was born from the video age? Like, oh, you yeah. know who did? The, uh, you know? Annie, Annie Leibovitz took the picture. Oh, awesome. Oh, cover, um, that makes co- sense. Cover concept: Cindy Lauper and Janet Peer. Wow. Um, yeah. You're right. And it won the Grammy art. for Best Recording Package in 1985. Interesting. Ja- Janet Peer is the art director. Yeah. See that? I mean, little things albums. Are all there. Look, you yeah. can find, it's right there. It's, on, it's in the album. Yeah, but it's now we can cred. just Google it, no, or we can, can go to the Encyclopedia Britannica. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> we talked about last week. Is there an online um, kind of library of album art? I, I wouldn't. I don't know. I'm I don't know. You probably can't do that because they're all copyright. True, um, but if it's just a res- if it's a resource, I don't know. Yeah, they're not making any money out of it or something. But you know, yeah. that, real quick, that one and the perma- <laughs> I put Cindy Lauper's and Permanent Waves from Rush together just because they told a story in a way. And I think I had two others that I thought were so interesting. It was Aria, Aria Speedwagon High Infidelity. Oh yeah, because it, it's this capture of like yeah. something going on, like it's a hotel room, and then there's there's depth or whatever. And this was one of my favorites. Was the ABC, the Lexicon of Love. That's Same Holly's idea. favorite album. Too. No way, really? <laughs> yeah. Shut up! All of my heart. Ah, oh, I love this song. <laughs> but this is like cry what, at the first note. What is going on here? It's like on, it's a drama on stage, and there's this whole paragraph of copy. Like mm-hmm. it looks like um, something. I'm sorry. It looks like a movie poster or something cool. But these four: Permanent Wave, Cindy Lauper, High Infidelity, and Lexicon of Love were like almost screen captures of a movie. There's something going on there. You're absolutely right. And it wasn't just, you know, and again, 
every other option's just as cool on a whole other value. But it wasn't like just three people and a name of a title on something. There was something going on that I thought was like, especially if it's a new artist, I would say both ABC and Cindy, that was like their first album, yeah. right? Yeah. So they're introducing a new artist to someone. You got to do it with some kind of, you know, thing. And then I think this was Ario's kind of first that was a break video. Through. When we were I in, can't totally fight, I can't in middle school, this, I can't fight this feeling. <laughs> yeah, we're in middle school. We had to. Uh, yeah, you had to like it. You had to like one. Yeah, had to know that one. <laughs> yeah, all the girls knew it, so I, I terrible. Guess I, guess I was, had to like it. Oh, the, but <laughs> when you see that video now, it is so cheesy. Is it? Yeah, they're still playing. They still play around. Ario. Yeah, this is the turning point. I know that this is this was you know the great you know iconic album, mm-hmm. but I like the old you know the. Of Ario? Yeah. Ario Speedwagon? Really? Like, what else? Well, I, I mean, was Roll With The Changes. Roll, yeah, that was before that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you can't, wasn't, you can't tune a guitar, but you can... Wasn't tune that, a fish? You can tune a fish, yeah. They had plenty before. They did. And it kind of... I remember seeing them, like, in, on, when they were on tour for this, or maybe years later, and they played those... The old ones are, you know, just as great. They, they never lost their... Their sound was always the same. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They and had a very voice. signature... I always thought, like, them in Kansas had, like, the most signature yeah. sound that you can get... In, yeah. ro- in progressive in rock, rock and, at least. Yeah. Kansas had some good covers, too, oh, that were just yeah. bizarre. Like, what's going we'll on just, here? <laughs> we'll talk about that in the logos. Yeah, and they're fun. Yeah. Yes. That, that's, yes. Okay. When, that's awesome. Okay, so Wait, that's, this is a good time to... Oh, you got something else? What a, can we each t- tell us our favorite... Can we say our favorite album art ever? Okay. For the 80s? That sounds great. Let's do that. Oh, Holly hates these. You got to do it. You're she, first. She's good at picking... I can't... No. You're going to have to... I, I oh. can't. I can never pick one ever. I'll get three in one. You'll What's the most like if you had to wear the T-shirt of it, and oh. that was the only one you could wear that was anything novelty? What would it be? It might be Joshua Tree, Ooh. and I don't know if it's as much the artwork as it is the band. It's everything. Yeah, yeah. right. It's everything. It's, yeah. It should sum up everything. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's exactly it. what it does. It's pretty, uh, pretty. You go with that. Like, yeah. Um, this was the Clash London Calling, just that's because hers. it was just, yes, just because it, it rebel. Cap- uh, yeah, it captured everything about the band. Yeah, and one of the first albums I think I bought on my own and it was just intriguing. This was one of those where I bought it not knowing what was inside, but yeah, I saw this and like something drew me to it. And it, the, the font is uh, Elvis Presley also. That's what... Uh, oh, that's right. That's, I oh, think that was, yeah. that was Elvis Presley's... I think it was his debut album. So it's kind of um, kind of an homage to that album. It was like a clash of things. Yes. Get it? Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Oh, all right. You're never coming back on this podcast. <laughs> oh, we are all about that. He, uh, you can come back anytime. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I, I think I, I love that one. Uh, the other one that I bought... I mean, I Wait a minute. Think. You can't do two. Uh, you're right. Okay, never nope, mind. Can't do it. All right, so... Okay, done. can't tell us. Which one? Just tell us. Because I had a Just because you had mentioned one about like some some band put something on and like okay this is what we are they mm-hmm. just threw it out there and this is who we are and that's, and that's rem's a, yeah. murmur it's like this picture of, of a haystack and the the font is just almost hidden like yeah. typeset mm-hmm. it's and it you know the album murmur that says nothing you know like what is that mm-hmm. um i picked it, this one too I had it was just something too. intriguing about yeah i and i mean you saw that the band was on the back but it was just this uh it it it's kind of quiet, but it's uh, but something mysterious about it, and uh, that was one that was something that I I bought yeah. because just based us a little bit on the cover, just because it was like, what is this? That's cool. Why? Yeah. yeah. So there you go. Okay. What would you? No, I want to hear okay. what you would. Oh, pick. that's right. Holly goes. I'm going to go cheesy, but it's still the best. Uh, okay. You oh, should. I see you it. Should. Yay! I'm already. I'm, I'm clapping. Journey's I'm escape. You. Oh, okay. I got to go. With it. <laughs> oh. I was waiting for your escape. Best your band. Of, best band of all time. There's something about like. I appreciate when I see something that was done prior to digital um, Macs and, and desktop publishing mm-hmm. and computer graphics. When you look at Journey's Escape, you can't believe that's it. like a hand painted like piece of art, and it's so digital and it's so like vibrant and cool and everything. And it has this, yeah, it's cheesy. It's a little funky bug escaping out of a planet. But I just remember opening it. I remember like read. You wanted to read everything about it. And you did look to see who the artist was, mm-hmm. you know, even this is before this was ever a kind of a choice in my career, what I was going to do. But everything about it, the way they, they wrote the journey was kind of like both vertical and horizontal together. And yet it read journey, you know, it's kind of like, oh, a, my gosh, you're right. You see what I mean? It's Holy vertical shit. stacked, but it's this <laughs> funky font. Um, I loved it. But my second one was Missing Persons, uh, Spring Chess and M. I love that one because I saw that when I was researching it. And I thought. For a second, it was Lady Gaga. Like you can only oh. Im- almost imagine her coming out with something like that, right? Yeah. Now. Oh, totally. Totally. You know? 
And it was like the synchronicity paintbrush. <laughs> yeah. But it's her face too, and her face draws you in. Oh god, totally. Yeah, yeah. It's just so cool. But like but I gotta go with Journey's Escape. That's like number one, always. Should we, Should we skip the, the game? Because we've gone we've gone so late. Okay, we'll skip the quiz deck. All right. We don't oh, there's so many more, more things we didn't talk about. Oh my anyway. god, I have, who knew that we could go this long? You could do a whole do. you could oh, do a could. whole podcast it's, it's on like, this. Totally album. album covers. It's like ten years was a long time. We could have <laughs> A lot of a lot was put out back then. I know, but uh, even just al- yeah, exactly. Album covers from the eighties. Yeah, a lot of creativity, a lot of fun. So this was great. I loved it. I loved it. Thank this you, so- Nick. Yeah. Oh my god, my pleasure. It was so cool being here with you guys. Well, th- thanks for being here. Um, we're not. Uh, you'll be back next week. Oh, will you come back and talk logos with us? Sure. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> Only if you bring more donuts. Oh, <laughs> deal. <laughs> thanks for listening to. What difference does it make? Oh. Give us a listen. Go ahead. Plug our uh, plug, 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 plug. Oh, you know, on social media, you oh, can find pl- us anywhere. Plug Nick. Nick. Oh. Plug. Yes. You can find the best place to go is my Instagram account, which has a link to everything, but it's at Longo, L O N G O, designs with an S. So at Longo Designs on Instagram. Uh, you can check out my website, my podcast, you name it. Hey. And do, because it's work is awesome. That's right. And uh, you know, <laughs> shout out. Now. Shout out to Joel Graves, New Monkey Studio. He's brilliant. We uh, thank you so much. We're going to always mention Joel. So uh, <laughs> thanks so much. And, and until next week, this is Dave. Holly. Check you later. Over now.